My name is The Adipose and this is The Simpsons Tapped Out. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get as many snakes as possible before Whacking Day ends. Okay guys, let's talk a little bit how we are about how to get more snakes um, for the remaining few days of Whacking Day. Now the official announcement at the moment says that it's going to end on the 16th. It was the 9th, um, but then for whatever reason um, that has been extended. Now you're going to need an awful, as I'm sure you're aware, you're going to need an awful lot of snakes if you want to get uh, to some of the prizes. Uh, I've done that one, sorry. Um, I'm currently going to work my way towards the 2,000 prize. I'm, I'm definitely going to hit the 2,000, and I'm hoping to hit the 3,000 uh, by the end. But I might be able to get up further because the the easiest way to get more snakes. I mean, obviously they will generate they'll generate normally, and you can just whack them as they appear. And if you do that a few times a day, then you're going to get quite a lot. And of course, you can also um, set characters to do uh, specific snake tasks, which will give you a bonus as well. So, for example, if I just uh, wake up Homer. <laughs> Good morning, Homer. Let's get rid of these and let's try and click them again. So, for example, if I click on that snake hunt task, then I will get another 10 snakes from him doing that, as well as some XP as well. So, if you set all of your characters to do snake tasks, then you'll be uh, giving yourself uh, a bonus as well. Uh, the other way, if you've got money, of course, uh, like real life money I'm talking about, not the uh, dollars in the game, then you can go the. If we look at the premium stuff, which is hard, uh, you can get yourself some. You can just buy the prizes. To, put, to be blunt, you can just buy the prizes. But you can also grab uh, these ones here: snake rock, snake stump, and hollow snake trunk, which uh, which will generate snakes for you. So if I click on that one, every four hours will give you another ten snakes here. Every four hours gives you twenty snakes here, and every four hours gives you 30 snakes there now these ones are actually even better value than they look i mean i mean grant whacking day is about to end so it may not be worth it although they're quite nice decorations um they also work for um increasing your percentage of um xp and dollars for everything you get as well you know just just like a normal premium item you know if i go to say um like I think the police cars one, for example, a two two percent money bonus to XP or jobs. It's got that as well. So even once whacking day ends, these these items won't be able to won't go to waste because they give you that bonus. But as you can see from my town, the best way to actually massively increase your um, snake count in these last few days is going to be to buddy up with other people. Now, if you head on to uh, lots of lots of the different forum sites, um, and I I found these from the uh, the Simpsons Tapped Out website, which is great, and the link is below, and there's so much great information on that site. Um, but also, it's a big community of players, and just kind of leave your name there, or listen, look at other people's adverts, and kind of say, you know, hello, um, can we can, can we can we pal up? Or the other place to look is the official EA forums, where they've actually got an official kind of sign up thread. Uh, well, so both websites actually have an official sign up for it but I, I got there yesterday and I've spoken to two or three people and now, now you can see the end result is is that my town is absolutely chocker full of eggs and basically the eggs work like this if I just um uh, friends deployed 894 494 snake eggs in your town I've actually, I think they actually stopped because I ran out of room for no other reason but if I um, just whack the snake to get my, the room but basically when you whack an egg uh, okay, all right, so I just need to get rid of a few more Okay, so let's crack an egg. So I'm going to try and crack that one just at the end of the road. There you go. You see it cracks, and then of course by getting it, you get um, you get the snake there as well. Um, the system's fairly simple though. I mean, once you once you've got eggs in your town, um, then you you can you can just crack away um, until you've got as many. Uh, and until you got rid of them, it does take you a while, especially if you do find some lovely people to help trade eggs, um, or, or give you eggs. Then um, then that works. That it will take you quite a while to mop it up. But goodness knows how long it take, took to lay them all. But um, it's, I'm very, very grateful to them. Um, but basically, if you look on my bottom left-hand corner, you can see my snake total, but you can also see my egg total. Now, the eggs don't actually help me, but they will help me find people to trade with. Um, so if we head over to, if we stop whacking there for a second, <laughs> smutty, smutty joke, and then head over to the community. And I've currently been exchanging with uh, 
Ray Hell, Ray Hell Two was has been nice enough to just donate me loads of eggs. Uh, he's he's finished a while ago. Uh, he's got a brilliant city, and uh, he's a, he's a nice guy. So do do add him. Uh, I'm sure. Okay, now he he's asked me to ask people to add him. So um, if you if you uh, want a new friend with a great city who's uh, generous, then click uh, do add Ray Hell Two. Um, but I have been trading over the last couple of days with um, Omrim Om. Omrissimo, um, who I did mention in my previous video, but um, in order to kind of repay the favour, you head over to their various cities. And what I do love about his city is he's given himself a special whacking day uh, <laughs> area for, for, for players to deposit their eggs. Um, so what you do then is you, you, you look in the top right hand corner and you've got uh, a snake thing, a button where you can actually whack a few of his snakes. So give myself a bonus snake by doing that uh, but we can also put, press the egg button as well so there's the eggs and you, you can see you can now place this just like a normal object and um, I suggest what you do is you want to kind of build up a bit of trust with the person that you are um, exchanging eggs with so I would strongly suggest that you make contact with them on the forum and you arrange with them how many eggs you're going to exchange and where you're going to place them because there's no he's got no way of actually knowing who has placed this egg um so for example you might want to say to one person that you're exchanging with okay i'm going to place my eggs at this particular point in your city and can you please place them by my quickie mart or um, bottom left hand corner or something like that then you know exactly who sent them to you and you know who you kind of owe eggs to um because if you've got two people placing eggs at the same time, who do you owe those eggs back to? It's going to be a little bit tricky. Um, the other thing I very, very strongly recommend you do, because there are some people on forums that sadly have been caught by, the, by some unscrupulous egg hunters, is that you start off with a small amount of eggs and build up as you kind of gain trust in that person. Um, so with Omrissimo, I think we start. I think we did 20 eggs to start with each, or I think I did 20 and then he gave me 50. It was, it was either that way around or the other way around. Um, that way around or the other way around. I think we, I gave 20, he gave 50, um, I gave 80, um, he gave 100, and then I think ever since then we've been exchanging um, in, in in chunks of 100 because it does take a little while to put them down, as you can see. And don't worry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the full uh, 100 in the video. Um, it it does it is a little bit easier if you put them uniform of of rows of roughly the same length. Not because um, I'm an OCD freak, although you know making things neat is clearly important. But just for, in terms of you knowing how many eggs you've put down, because I haven't been counting while I've been going. <laughs> so, but I can quickly uh, count my rows and quickly just work out roughly how much I've got in each row. So. Um, that's that. So, but if you do want to get to those bigger prizes, uh, really, the, the the main way you are going to be going to do it is through setting your characters to high level. Oops, setting your characters to snake-like tasks. If you've got some money, you can buy yourself some. Uh, items that generate snakes and you can actually buy eggs as well too uh, if, the, if it, as in, they are quite good value to buy eggs I think it's something like you buy them in bunches of 12 um, and then you can use that to kind of gain yourself a few buddies and stuff of course the other advantage of using the uh, community method is you will end up with some buddies on your origin list who you'll be able to visit their city in the future uh, and tap on some of their buildings and stuff, get some ideas for city design, which is which is certainly one of the things I've been looking for because, as you know, my city is still in a fairly early stage. Um, so the, the the ability to be able to add some people that have got some brilliant cities on is going to be fantastic when I come to design uh, various other little bits to get some inspiration. Anyway, so I hope that has helped you answer any of your kind of like uh, whacking day snake uh, harvesting um, issues. Um, good luck with the quest hunt. Um, feel free to to add me as well. Um, I, uh, as of this video, I'm going to reduce myself down to not very many eggs. However, um, as you can see from the amount of eggs I've still got to whack, that I am going to be generating myself some more eggs by getting through them. So, uh, and it would just be nice to yeah, communicate with you guys as well, and uh, maybe get you involved in some of the future videos. So, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you have found this useful, and if you have, please give it a like, and do subscribe if you want to see some more daily tutorials about Tapped Out, as well as loads of other gameplay stuff as well. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.